Welcome everybody back. This is Home Harbor. My name is Roma. I rebuilt a little bit my home harbor. Now it's nice working place. I add some more light so it will be more comfortable. I think it, the video will look nice. So today's video is very short because we will speak about extras that we need to order for building from Polaris Pirate Schooner. So guys, there is nothing more to say. Let's just see what's behind my back. Those extra that probably you would like to buy and add to your ship. So let's go to work. So guys, the video is going to be, I think, quick. Let's start from things that we already use. This is the gun ports. We use them. We need eight of them, right? So next one um, here. We did the entrance and this entrance we use these columns. They also are in Okres site, website, on sale. If you want to, you need only four of them. But as an alternative, as I told you, you can use just some pieces of round wood so you can replace them. It's not going to be the same, really. but as alternative you can use it okay this part is what we already use so next thing is going to be the grating this is my leftovers from candelaria the pack is more than enough for you for this ship because we have only one hole right it's going to be like this I'm going to cut it uh, so one pack is more than enough of the gratings Al alternative if you don't want to use it like that you just follow the instructions and do with the planks like it is in instructions now dead eyes guys these pieces for beginners who doesn't know they called dead eyes we need eight extra of them and I will explain you why if you see, we have only two shrouds in each side. I mean two ropes that go to the top of the mast. So we have no red lines. I want to show you with one model, I will really like to show you everything that I can that you will use in your next build. So my idea is to add more to on the each uh, side, four on each side, right? Two on the chain plate. This calls chain plate, right? So we're going to add more to uh, that eyes. We're going to put one more shroud, add one more shroud, one more rope, and then we will do the red lines. I think it give more detail to the ship. It will be more interesting. And I think more realistic, okay? It's just my opinion, as usual. So guys, this is why we need eight extra dead eyes. So the next thing is going to be the cannons. The cannons they order, again, for the beginners who doesn't know how to look, this is, this is the basic of the cannons, right? So this is the base, the carriage. You put them like this together. You glue them like this together. And then the cannon go on the top. Also, we're going to have wheels. They go in the kit. When you buy a cannon, it's like a mini kit. And you have the wire to attach to um, wheels from each side by this wire. I will not use the wire. I'm going to use a toothpick because with the wood it looks more realistic for me. But you can use the wire. There is no problem in that. The cannons are like this. They are the smaller ones. They are in the Okra website. So we need eight of them, right? So this part is done. Now guys, the blocks we going to need a lot of single blocks 
and a lot of eye bolts. Okay, I'll put it like this. And now again, I will show you the picture and I will explain you why. We are going to need 34 single blocks. And now I'll explain you why. This is the proper rigging of the carriage gun, right? So we have on our board side, we have four eyeballs. We have two eyeballs on the carriage and two blocks from the each side. So in total, it's going to be, don't worry, I'm going to write in the comment section, in description, I will write how much do you need. We need 32 blocks for the cannons and two more blocks for the lifeboat its next step I will explain you and the eye bolts we're going to need uh, more or less 50 52 uh, why I'm saying 52 or 50 I will explain you 50 it will be for the cannons cannon rig rigging and the lifeboat also we need two for the lifeboat I will explain you I will show you right now and two, I have one idea, as again, I will show you in the picture. If you can see, we have this part right here. So, the anchor attached to the rope and rope goes inside and we attach it to this part when goes, where goes the bowsprit. Well, for me, it doesn't make much sense because if the ship is in the, I'm not saying open sea, but in some deep waters, right? If you're going to speak about the real ship. I understand that modeling, it's not, not that simple, not that easy. You cannot do everything like in a real ship, but still, it's not enough of rope, I think, here to put the anchors deep in the water. So uh, my idea is next thing. I'm going to do here two holes and I'm going to make piece look like this like we did for our mast so the rope will go inside and go inside those holes so it will look like we have some mechanism below the deck where we can have a lot of rope right so this is my idea so that's why I'm saying 50 is for the rigging and behind we're going to have a lifeboat and more two if you would like more two we're going to need here place here to put the rope this is my idea i want to do this but then you are deciding if you are following me or not so the cannon part we are done also because of the cannons because of all of the rigging I think we will need I think we will need more two uh, ropes 150 uh, 0.5 I'm sorry 0, 0 0.50 and 0 0.15 because it is some rigging but there is always leftovers so I don't know really if we going to need to buy more but the next video I think going to be about the cannon rigging and the cannons so i will be able to see more or less if we will need some extras now guys i will show you um, the lifeboats the lifeboats are not in okra website in free uh, sale so you need to contact okra how i did it i write the email i tell them my idea what I want to do what I want to accomplish and I order because I liked I order the lifeboats from uh, HMS Beagle so there is four of them there is two long boats one large one and the small one I will use the small one for the Polaris and then the rest I will see maybe with the time not maybe I already have idea how I can use them 
and I'm really happy with this. There is two boards with a laser cut. I'm very happy with that. There is four of them. This is the lower part with all of the ribs and then the top part. So guys, you need to contact, if you would like to add this, you will need to contact Okre uh, to be able to increment them. Now, for doing this, I'm going to need to put here two more planks. They will go like this. Two more planks I will use from the first planking. Then, eye bolts are going here. And then two single blocks are going here so we're going to have that proper rigging right now i will show you the image of hms beagle how it looks now you understand how does it work and my idea today i'm open all of cards you know everything what i will do how i will do so in this part we are done now there is more two things extra that they are not free sale you also need to contact okra it's a pirate flag uh, i think this is from bucanier you again must check with the okra and also if okra guys see my video i want to apologize i order a lantern because i want to add in the stern a lantern for lantern we need this one part we're going to bend it it's going to be round and two parts that go in the top and below right also we're going to need the wire you going to have leftovers of the wire so we will bend it and attach the lantern to our stern but what i didn't thought that it's not just like not coming like this is coming with the old plate this is the stern gallery of candelaria so i apologize to okra that, that because it's going to be not waste i'm not going to waste it i will use it in some way somehow but if you want lanterns if you want to buy a lantern in okra try to uh, when you're going to speak with them when you're going to write the email ask them if there is any chance to get lanterns i'm not speaking about candelaria lanterns maybe uh, santissima trinidad or something like that or another ship that have lanterns maybe they will go apart without this plate right because you probably will not go to need this so basically guys this is it this is my idea how i want to do it those uh, two boards are just perfect because there is four of them the guys in okra uh, i always send in the email they responding at the same time there is no problem to to get some agreement with them because you, if you explain your not situation if you explain your idea that you want to do something like this and this is not available in okra site to buy they will always uh, they will calculate how much you need to pay uh, how much for shipping and it's really easy with the okra so guys basically this is everything that we need extra so now it's up uh, for you if you want to do it if you want to follow the build if you want to do the pirate polaris or if you want to do the regular one there's a lot of alternatives that you can do for example we have the cannons uh, gun ports you can just take the wood from the first planking cut it in two millimeters wide then just do the frames it also can work i just show you i order all of those pieces to show you the quality of okra because i'm very happy with that and i'm going to work with okra i'm going to make the models from okra because i like the quality and the price it's very important so guys this is my idea now the video will stop because there is nothing more to tell you in description i will write everything by numbers what i order for pirate polaris and then you decide 
what you want to do so guys thank you next video is going to be about the cannons and the cannons rigging so thank you very much for attention and i see you next time see you guys